are the sign of Leo. Hello and welcome to my channel. Let's see what's going on in February 2020 for the sign of Leo. What is the overall love energy for the sign of Leo? Just remember the top cards. They're paired with the bottom cards. I will list the decks that I'm using today in the description box of this reading. I have pre-shuffled the cards and I'll be using two oracle cards for your recent pass. Those two cards are to the very far left side of the screen. Once again, those two will be your recent pass. Then I'll go through the present, how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why it's all happening. So Leo, in the recent past, we have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And it's paired with mirror. Now mirror is about learning to see God's presence in everyone you meet. So in the recent past, you probably felt that it was safe to love and to give and to receive. You opened up your heart. Um, you knew that it was one of the best energies of all. So that's what you did in the recent past. Or maybe that's what you should have done because it looks like you could have connected to your spiritual side and you saw people in a different light with this mirror card. Um, with the mirror card, once again, uh, you just saw people in a different light. You saw their, their inside. You, see, you can see, the, for some reason, I'm getting the feeling that um, there's probably some empaths in this reading, who's watching this reading, empaths. So I'm getting the feeling this mirror card it popped up because um, you freed yourself to love because you started to look at people's souls instead of just the the negative things that they do. So you you reached inside of every person that you met and you went for the better side of them instead of looking at their negative qualities. And that was able to open you up to love, to giving and receiving love, which was a good thing, I hope. Okay, so I don't know how it turned out for you, but that was the recent past, so let's go ahead and move on to the present. Now, in the present time, we have the Two of Cups, and it's paired with a full card. Okay, so the Two of Cups, it refers to romantic partnerships, but that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, and sharing. Now basically this is a card that says things are likely to be going well for you. You should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. This card represents true love, balance, partnerships, commitment, and all the things that most of us hope for in regards to love and relationships. However, this does not mean that you can just say or do whatever and that your relationship or your love is going to last. You cannot do that. It only means that the real solid potential for true love and affection is there. Also, Leos, if you're looking for love, if you're single, this is a signal that it's very likely to be headed your way really soon. The Two of Cups is all about love, good love, true love. 
So relax or just get out there, you single single Leos, because now it's it's in the air for you. You got the love bug, okay? And it's paired with the fool card. Now, just to tell you about the fool card, it's it's an indicator of newness in one form of in one form or another. Now, in many ways, it indicates the purity, the open-hearted energy, and the innocence of a child. Because we all know children, they're very trusting. And trust, it forms the basis of meaning for this card. This is generally considered a positive card, but there could be one thing. The one thing is that it's going to be important for you to take time now to be sure where, you, to be sure to um, look, be sure you're looking where you're going, because trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown is one thing, but doing so without any thought whatsoever, that's that could be a real big mistake. You see what he's doing in that picture? He's not looking. He's not thinking. He's just being foolish and he's walking off of a cliff into the unknown and or it could be to his into a uh the atlantic ocean wherever he's about to walk into okay and also with this fool card when it comes to love this card it actually means that you are probably not ready for a commitment. Well, at least not yet. Even though others or there could be someone pressing you for one right now, just know that now is probably not the time. There is nothing wrong with having fun. And definitely this card is a positive for your love life. Lots of fun seems to be in the making. And this is probably what you really want right now. Especially if you're in an existing relationship. Or you could be single. If, on the other hand, you are looking for a new relationship and hopefully love, then make sure you don't let your desire for fun let you overlook the real thing should it come your way at this time. When you're wrapped up in having so much fun, it can be easy to overlook the possibilities in a new relationship. Keep in mind, true love is not always instant. So you probably need to make sure you're aware that it could be creeping up on you. So, with those two cards paired together, the Two of Cups, like I said, it's the kind of love that we all hope and dream, dream about. And some of us we leave this world and don't even get to experience the Two of Cups. So, it's a great, powerful love. It's like that twin flame feeling. That twin flame love. Um, like I said, the kind we all hope and dream about. And that's in your present time. So, if you're single, make sure you're getting out there. You're dating and or put, your, put a pretty picture online or something. Um, but it's paired with the Fool card, so it's open-hearted energy you, that you're having right now. You probably feel like just having fun, all right? And um, just be careful, because like um, I was telling you a few minutes ago, true love is not always instant. So make sure you're aware that it could be creeping up on you. It could, it could be right around the corner and you just don't know it because you just feel like having fun at this time and it's a great powerful love with this two of cups so you could miss out that's what these two cards are saying together you could miss out because you're not really paying attention you're you're ready to walk off of a, of a cliff into the atlantic ocean so just take these two cards as a warning all right especially if you would like to have a great love in your life and you never had one so that was the present now let's move on to how they see you 
Now, how your person has seen you, we have the chariot, and then we have the hierophant. Okay. Now, the chariot, it's about a lot of energy, but it's not a free-for-all energy. It's directed, it's control, controlled, and it has a goal in mind. Now, when this card appears in your reading, like it is, um, you're likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you're willing to do to make them come true. This card, it's, it points to determination. It's about determination and ambition, getting things done, testing and proving that you've got what it takes. It's a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. Although, you should remember that you need to use both your your uh, mind, your intellect, and your heart in order to be truly successful. So, they see you charging forward in this relationship. You're directed and you're controlled and you have a goal. You got a plan for this relationship. Yeah, you're, re you're ready to take action. Okay, you're not just sitting back waiting for um, him to do everything. You you got a plan for this relationship and and um, nothing can really stop you now. Yeah, this is a sign that you should move forward actually. Give it your best shot. And that's how they're looking at you. That's how they view you. And now keep in mind with this chariot it's possible that you could be tempted to go too far, too fast, okay? And, or that someone is pressuring you that way. Someone could be pressuring you that way, or you just, because you've got that, that action energy, you might be jumping in too far, too fast. But either way, communication at, at its best, well, communication, communicate as best as you can about your boundaries and preferences. Be honest with yourself about the possibilities. And if, um, just say for instance, if you are not interested in a relationship with someone who you clearly knows wants a relationship with you, the kindest thing now to do is to let them know that you're just not interested because the short-term hurt or pain that this may cause it's going to benefit everyone in the long run so they also see you as the hierophant now when it comes to love and you get this card on the reading the hierophant i think i always pronounce it wrong but you guys see that man with the hat on like a metal hat and he's sitting down and he's got two people bowing down to his feet that's the hierophant I guess I said it right but anyway you have the chariot paired with that card okay and if when it comes to love if you're asking about how your partner is feeling well we are we doing that we're asking how they see you well something like that we're asking how they see you know with this card just know that they love you very deeply okay and it's a love that cannot be broken cannot be broken okay so yeah that's the tire pump paired with the chariot and once again they see you charging in ready to take action uh, you got a plan and a goal for this relationship. You got it all mapped out. Okay? And they see you as loving them very deeply. And the love that you have for them, it can't be broken. It cannot be broken by all that is material and all that is non physical. For they are really one and the same. So you got deep love for this person and they know it. 
And you see those two people bowing down? It looks like you, yeah, you probably bathe his feet or bathe her feet. You really love her. And you're coming in. Okay, and let's take a look. Let's move over and take a look at how you see them. You see them as the justice card and the king of swords. Okay, with the justice card. It's about karma. The ideal of karma and the law of cause and effect. It's important to remember not everything you're dealing with however, is a direct result of your own actions or karma. It is not. Sometimes you'll be called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone you care about. So make sure you don't blame yourself unnecessarily. If you are direct, if you are directly involved in some type of court case and you get this justice card in your reading, uh, it's likely to be re to be resolved at least in a large degree in your favor. Now when it comes to love and you get the justice card, if you are questioning whether you and your partner are likely to stay together, the answer is that you are likely to choose to go your separate ways. On the other hand, if you were single, for all you single listeners out there, this is a time when commitment may be coming your way very shortly. So stay clear about what you most want from relationships and you're likely to find it that much sooner. Okay, so your person is seeing you they're seeing you as hmm because this is a love reading I would say that mm, just like I said it's about when it comes to love and relationships um, if you're in your well, you're in a relationship, you're likely, you and your partner are likely, well, I hope I said this right, but if you're questioning, I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to say this over again, because I'm not sure if I read this right, um, if you are questioning whether you and your long-term partner are likely to stay together and you get this card in your reading the answer is that you're likely to choose to go your separate ways I guess it was hard for me to say that I don't like breakups but that's what the um, justice card is saying okay now let's see what the rest of the reading says okay we have this king of swords now the king of swords um, it means that there's some type of strong, forceful person, opinionated person. They're part of your scenario. Scenario. If this man is your lover, it means that you're going to have to accept him as he is. And whether you are a male or female, you'll best deal with him by drawing on your feminine side. So don't make sure you're not putting up with being mistreated, though. Because this man can walk the line between being stereotypically manly and overstepping his bounds. You may or may not need to protect yourself. Okay, so the, how they're seeing you is going your separate ways. Okay, I had to just blurt it out. The seeing you two is going your separate ways. Okay? You see them. Um, let me rephrase that. You see them as you see them as separating, going separate ways, okay? And then um, you see them as 
the king of swords, that narcissist type. You see that man right there? He's sitting down frown, frowning with the dog and he's got his sword up. Uh, they call that the narcissist card. You see them as overstepping his bounds, forceful, pushy, uh, argumentative. Um, you see them like that and you see them as, or the relationship as going in separate ways. Okay, I said it. All right, so that's how you see them. Okay, now let's move over to why it's happening. Okay, so why it's happening, it's because you've got that Six of Wands ooh, and the Devil card. All right, so the Six of Wands, um, it's, I don't know, Leos, is someone going to court out there? Because the Six of Wands, it talks about court cards, just like the... Um, Justice card it talked about going to court. So let me just explain the Six of Wands to you. Uh, if you're anxious about a court proceeding or you want to win your lover's heart, just know that you can be victorious. You will be victorious at this time. This can indicate any kind of celebrations. You may be a part of a graduation party commencement celebration or you may be receiving a reward for good work that you've done keep in mind the six of wands can make you feel really good about yourself you may feel as if you have a lot of support a whole lot of support from everyone around you on the other hand you could adore someone else whereby adoring them makes you feel amazing uh, the when it comes to love, the Six of Wands suggests that you may need, um, it suggests that you may need someone to boost your ego while the other person is perf perfectly fine doing the boosting and, it, and admiring. This is the fire of balance. Uh, you two feed off of each other energetically. It's that twin flame type of energy, you know. Um, you can expect a lot of sexual energy at this time. There is a passion, well, there, there is a type of passion that you'll have, like that long sleepless night type passion. There is a passion in long nights spent in bed. That's what this card about. Yeah, a lot of hot, steamy, you know what. <laughs> okay, so... Now that's the Six of Wands, and so it's happening, why this reading is happening like it is, and we got them two um, cards that I don't like to read for how you see them, why it's happening because, um, hmm, there's some type of celebration. Um, this is a twin flame card. So you would think, um, hmm, you wouldn't bump heads like we just talked about. Um, it's happening because, yeah, let me, let me go on to the card that it's paired with, and then I can tell you better why it's happening. We got that devil card there, and, um, if you're in a romantic relationship, one or both parties may have gotten to the point where they feel as though they're trapped in a situation. If you're getting signals that this is the case, try to talk about it. If you want to save the relationship, this card can also sometimes appear when there's really nothing you, when there's really nothing that can be done but to end the relationship but to end the unhappy relationship, okay? Why, why it's happening? We always have choices, take steps to keep the magic alive. If you're seeking love at this time, if you're planning to go your separate ways, this may be a signal that you're reaching the point of desperation for some reason, that's why, that's what you get with the devil card. Okay, so why it's all happening is because um, 
Someone wants to be victorious in this relationship. Um, someone really wants to win this relationship, okay? Um, someone really does not want that separation we talked about in the King of Swords. But there's some devil energy going on. Devil energy uh, could be drinking, could be just bad behaviors, um, uh, some type of uh, situation or something that's making you or them feeling trapped. Something. Something's going on. Um, if you're getting, once again, if you're getting the signals that this is the case, try to talk about it. Okay. Um, if that's if you want to save the relationship. So, okay, so now it uh, makes sense of why it's happening. Because it's paired with the devil card. Someone wants victory. Someone really doesn't want to see it stop. Okay. And, um, hmm. But there's someone, someone's got devil energy. It could be you, could be them, your, your person, or it could be the both of you oh, that's causing this need for the separation. Okay? But it's up to you how you handle it. Sometimes people stick together because they know that their, their life won't be any better um, if they leave this person because there's a lot of love there. At least that's how some people think. I mean, I don't know. I'm just reading you the cards. And that's how they came out for you today, Leo. Um, so I just want to say I hope you enjoy the reading. I will be putting a link below of the extended version of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for you two? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what's going to happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. Because we know all of this can change, right? That's how it goes in the tarot. So I, I want to say thank you so very much for watching. Please comment. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you'll get uh, notified when I post a new reading. I also want to say Leo's happy 2020 and I hope that you have a really wonderful February.